addictions. All of your anxiety, all your worries, and such you For free. two years, I just asked the Lord to save me from my addictions. I tried to go to like rehab centers and talk to doctors and people and just told me, you're just crazy. There's nothing we can do for you. Nothing. And I even went to talk to people. I told them the only person that can save me is the Lord. And they just Hallelujah. laughed at me. Yes. And they're like, you're, you, we, we can't even see you anymore. Come to us when you're not fucked up. That's what they said. And I, I said, I talked to the Lord. Like, Lord, how can I be like this if I tell them about you? But at the end of the day, he said, everybody will say that this is, a, you will think I'm, you're crazy to think about me and talk to people about me, you know? And I realized that. Then he's the only doctor, the only person that can truly fix me from the inside. Out. Amen, amen. For the longest time, I just wanted outside yes. in. I never cared, but now I just want inside Glory out. I just fix my inside out, Lord, because my inside is so ugly. And my outside is so nice, but I don't even amen. care anymore. I rather be. I'm homeless right now for two and a half years because of my addiction. You know. Abraham today, I used to do a lot of things, rejoice. but at the end of the day, it was just the weed was the last, the strong the devil had for me for ten years. Ten years today. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. You know, Abraham, we were on our way out, but we stopped here for a reason. And I know I heard this. I was with my friends, and I was just like, someone was telling me, just let them go, let them go, let Hallelujah. them go. Now Satan right there. Amen. And this is right here, you know? Like, this is where I am. Every day I come downtown. Like, downtown is my area, you know? Like, I don't really live down here, I, but I come down every year because this is the city of sin. You want anything, it's here. You go that corner, that corner, that person there. It's everywhere, you know? And it's crazy, you know? But the last thing that the thing is I need now is to, to fellowship with more people. Like, I don't have that fellowship, you know? The thing is I have fellowship with, the, the, with devils, with sinners, you know? That's why my everything is stronger and more brother, and more, you know? Brother, we have, we have a fellowship. They were I know I Here remember Fridays and Saturdays, yeah. yeah. But I, like I said, my addiction was too strong. I didn't pay interest. I was like, don't worry, put it to the side. But yeah, now, like, I went tonight. God is saying uh, three days. Uh, I just day. have um, MSN. Amen. That's all I have, okay. yeah. So we remind you. I just have MSN, but I know you guys are here, so I will be here tomorrow, 12:30. Food court, food court. I have that now. Yes. I have that. Praise I will bring my Bible and my my mom always brings me, gives me this. My mom is a God-fearing Christian lady. She gives me all these books to read, you know, to find the Lord, how to find the find God, how to understand the Testament, the books, and I just put it to the side, put it to the side. Even my one shelter worker that I have, he's a God-fearing person four years now, and he, his life was so wicked, he, and he told me, here's a book for you, but at the same time, too, I just put it to the side, put it to the side, put it to the side, until now, like, now I actually realize of 10 years of everything wicked to myself, it's like, I can no longer do this, it eats me inside, I dislike myself that I don't give a F what I do to this person and that person and that person, but that's not what I need to do, I cannot think those ways, be that person, I need to have love for everybody, and that's the one thing my mom has always told me, is you need love, you need love for everybody, you cannot have this kind of judgmental love for this person and that person, it has to be unconditional love for everybody, you know, and I under truly realize that now, but like, like I said, like I've been living wicked for 10 years. You know, like I need more strengthening, more fellowship, more talking to some people, one-on-one, -on -one, groups, whatever it may be. Like every, like I said, like I'm a very kind of hyperactive person. I have a lot of energy and I put a lot of energy and time into things, you know. Even the brother with the cart, I will be like, if, I, if you strengthen me more and baptize me, uh, maybe one day I will be with the brother too with the card and just help him and push the word to everybody that I know down here. Done, I know everybody, Abraham's everybody done. knows. It's already yeah. done. It's already you know? done. Everybody everything knows that, me here. Everything yeah. that happened in the past, in the past, tonight is the day where you received your breakthrough. Amen. All, everything that happened in the past, the addiction, it's all gone. Christ Amen. has healed you. He's, set, he's healed your mind and he's set you free. Yes. It's true because, listen, I hope you don't take offense, but before I came here, I was drunk. Like, I drank a, two, a big bottle, you know? And now I actually, like I said, I, I feel empty, empty to the point that I actually do, like, I feel sober, but there's a little bit of intoxicants in me though, you know, but that's just natural, you know. Mm -hmm. But the Lord has really emptied me, emptied me, like to this point when the sister told me there's still, that's, the angel was telling me, God was telling me, there's still, still this one thing. And like, it was in there, that's why I was crying more and more. And then the brother came and talked to me and told me his his side really quick, you know. And I cried even more and that's why I, I can't do this Lord no more. Like I, the devil told me, don't worry, after tonight, just smoke one more and never again. But he's been telling me that for 10 years straight, yeah, every day. Right. Every he's day I tell myself I'm going to quit. So I buy a quarter and I smoke it all and I say tomorrow I'm going to quit again. And I buy a half ounce and then that more and you know. Yeah, and he just tricks me more and more and more. And then he puts the masks with other people's faces, yeah. you know. Yeah. The devil comes in sheep, you know. He comes and everybody's your friend. But at the end of the day, ah, and he eats yeah, you, yeah. you know. And like I just, 
Like I'm sick and tired of my old life. I lived really wicked and the Lord knows this. And every day that's why I just told the Lord, I don't care what people think about me, but you know, just judge my heart, Lord. Only you know, just judge the things of my heart, Lord. If it is wicked on that, then you will judge me on that. But if my heart and my intentions are good for certain reasons or certain things, only you know. But if you repent tonight, yeah, God Yeah, I want it all God gone. That's what I said, miss, but I, baptismal God miss is my really, really next thing I really need. The moment I really, he repents, he washes yes. everything I know, you've done. Yeah. He's wiped the slate clean. So no longer are your sins remembered in the eyes of the Lord. That's the assurance that you have tonight. Tonight, if you repented, generally repented and yeah. put everything onto the altar, God has already wiped you clean. He looks at you with the righteousness of his son, Jesus Christ. So tonight, just put your faith and trust in him and know that he's already done a work in your life. I do. But for me, like, the kind of person I am, like, if I, like, me, I'm a very visual, hands-on person, you know? So me, for me to go and get baptized, too, is another reassurance of everything. And that is me putting my whole faith, my whole trust, everything from old to now and new again, you know? And it's very hard, you know, but what I have now, is maybe like a little descendant of the Holy Spirit to fill me more and more, to give me more eyes of discernment for certain things. Exactly. And that's what the Lord has given me, honestly, in the 10 years, He has given me the eyes of discernment. And that's why I never strayed to certain addictions, certain things, because I've seen certain things, and i actually seen certain demons and certain people, and even in myself, when I used to do certain chemical drugs, I used to get messed up and go in the mirror, and I'd be like, ah, oh, you see this kind of person, my eyes will be black, my whole eyes will be black, and I see, you see demons, and that's the actual demon, and he laughs, and that's, you laughing at yourself but the demon really laughing at you and you're just broken down but you feel it inside though but it's the the lies it's all just lies that's what it is i used to do things that's not good and the lord told me you can't do that you can just not stop the lord will help you give the strength to do we need just to pray and ask him to help you true you will be the star yeah i would do it yeah Every day he attacks me hard, hard, but, hard. But you know the difference though? The difference is tonight he's been defeated. Yes. That's that's the difference. Tonight when you leave here, the enemy's been defeated. Yes, he will come, but tomorrow... I need to read my Bible hard though when I go home tonight though. Because I read from Psalms 11 to 18. And like it tells me certain things in between there. But like I said, I have no fellowship. I need the fellowship. That's what it is. You know, to be like, how can I be that one person and be strong? If there's like no one else with me, like I'm just like grass that goes down, you know, but if we're all together. Yes, Lord. So give a prayer of thanksgiving out to the Lord for what he's done in the life of Abraham. So here you have it, Fallen Me to Christ, Christ Forgiveness Ministries, a powerful night in the Lord. God really, really did a work. And City of Toronto, you need to realize that God is really doing a work in the city. It's time for you to repent. It's time for you to turn from your wicked ways and give your life to the Lord. Because if you're found without the righteousness of Jesus Christ, God will send you to hell. But God, at the same time, is also loving and has, has sent his son, Jesus Christ, who's already paid for your sins. So turn from your wicked ways and give your life over to him.